G'day guys, Bloody Drongo here with you and welcome back to another worm video. Today we are over on Xanadu, better known as Xana Don't. Um, and we are on Draka's Deed. This is currently, uh, well, the Lunar Impalong uh, has just wrapped up not too long ago. And uh, we are in the mines here. Um, and there are a couple of buildings and structures here that I just kind of wanted to, to showcase, um, in a little YouTube video, just because they're so damn cool. Like this one here, and I didn't get to show this on stream the other day, um, which is why I feel like this deserves coming back and actually checking out properly. Because otherwise, you know, I feel like I would be remiss in my duties. We'll climb our way up here to the little viewing platforms. And this is the Colosseum. And my goodness, what a Colosseum it is. It's got all of these beautiful chairs set up to view. We've got pens down the bottom um, for various animals and uh, fighters and that kind of thing. We also have, you know, lots of beautiful little design details in terms of the, uh, the marble braziers, got the little troll statues around, which are a really nice touch. And I think this is just, man, it's just such a beautiful de uh, deed and a beautiful design that it really does, even on the lower tiers here, where all the plebs would sit. It's, um, it's still a really, really cool little setup. And of course, it's not the only thing that I wanted to show you guys uh, on this video. There is um, something else, and that something else is the maze that they have down here. And you know me, guys, I love a good maze. And oh man, I just love the way that the bridges have been really well incorporated into this Colosseum here. It, they're just really... Really nicely done, not too over the top, nice and subtle. And this though is the maze and you can kind of, peeking over the top here, you can kind of get a little bit of a, a view of what's in there. But we're gonna, we're gonna go into the maze here and just see if we can't find our way out. It's a, a pretty daunting prospect. This is very much like a, an old fashioned style of maze. Um, unlike the old, you know, factional fight brothers, um, the maze that they had, their maze was very, very large and sprawling and covered above ground, below ground, and lots of, uh, lots of puzzles and that kind of thing. So we are just, you know, gonna kind of trek around here. I did read, you know, once a very long time ago that the way to get through a, a maze in the shortest time possible, if you don't know the way, is to always just follow one side of the wall and eventually you will arrive at your destination. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. That's the strategy. That's the approach. We're just going to follow one side of the wall. Oh my goodness. I like... <laughs> I like how on these dead ends, there's just like a little sign there just to, as a, I don't know whether it's a taunt or a nice gesture, but it's uh, certainly something. Um, beautiful. That's actually really nicely detailed out there. I actually quite like that. And I think a lot of the times with, um, with little deed projects like this, it is always in the in the details that make or break something like this. So, my goodness, okay, wow. Who knows, I was thinking, you know, we'll try and make this like a, a 10 to 20 minute vi uh, long video. This is actually quite substantially larger than I think I originally realized, which is slightly concerning. Uh, spinning, spinning, spinning. We've got a nice little spinning wheel there, rope tool, and some carpet. Oh dear. It is a, it's a, quite a deceptively large maze. And I do tell you guys, 
What does this say? Does it say anything? There's no way out. Ooh, that's uh, ominous. That would be the ultimate troll, though, wouldn't it? Is, like, to make a maze and tell people, you know, there is a way out, but not to have any way out at all. That's that's the kind of maze that I would make in-game, I think. If I was ever to make one, that's what I would do. What's this one say? Abandon all hope. Oh, man. Well, I'm not going to abandon all hope just yet. I'm still feeling reasonably comfortable. So, in case you haven't realized by now, I'm just tracing the left wall at the moment. Just trying to follow that around to wherever that may lead us. Hopefully, for better or worse, to the outside realm again. Thing one and thing two. That's a... Uh, the labyrinth reference, isn't it? I don't even know. I feel like this is working out in our favor because oh, we've got some oh, nice little water barrel there. Because I we've managed to cover cover quite a bit of ground. I don't feel at any point like we have oh, nice. Uh, I don't think at any point we've. You know, kind of been trekking over the same ground. Like I said, I mean, I, I I remember reading a long way, a long time ago, that this was the way to um, do mazes, but I've never actually had occasion to put it into purpose. I was kind of hoping to do it on the factional fight maze that we did, or the labyrinth that they made, um, not that long ago. For those of you who caught the live stream of that, time to eat. Oh my goodness. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. That maze was, uh, I don't think that trick really covers the idea of going above and below ground consistently. Wait, do we go out the same way that we came in? No whining here. Nice. It wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a, a a maze without some good puns in it, or at least it wouldn't be a maze that I like without some good puns in it. Like maybe we do go out the same way that we come in, or do we go? Do we end up at the beginning? Oh no, we made it. We've done it. We've done it, guys. Holy shit! Amazing. There you go. Beautiful. So this is wow. That was actually really cool. I like that. I like that. That's kind of like the more, I guess, stereotypical maze that you would think of when somebody says maze or labyrinth. Um, the factional fight one, I, man, I really loved that, but that was like, that hurt your brain. Like literally, that was one of those ones that just really, really just destroys your mental capacity. That one, I found a lot less stressful. I think there was some people that were saying with the factional fight lab, uh, labyrinth, Took them like four or five hours. I think on stream we did it in just under four. So, man. But this has just been an absolutely beautiful deed. We're going to just swing past quickly and just check out some of the rest of it as well. It's got some beautiful underground buildings here. Um, and the above ground portions um, are really, really beautifully well done. Like, I mean, even this here. Like, the attention to detail... I love the attention to details in various little deeds like this. Like, like I love the workshop there, got all the racks, and then we've got this nice little patio area. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's just really, really nice, really well done. So, man, I've got to, I've got to extend a big thank you to uh, to Draka and all of her little helpers um, for helping make the. Uh, Luna Long Impalong or Luna Impalong, whatever you want to call it, um, such a wonderful little event to, to come and hang out at. We did uh, on the Wednesday just past, we did a little fashion stream or fashion show competition, which uh, we had uh, some guest gut judges come down and help us out with. And uh, man, yeah, this deed is just absolutely fantastic. So well done, Draka. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This little, little uh, snapshot of a fun little deed. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. If you want to see more videos like this, again, let me know. 
Otherwise, hopefully I'll catch you again in the next video or on one of my live streams. Take it easy, guys.